hello great people welcome back to our channel we are so excited to have you again the one of the southwestern governor has decided to send this message to mazinam de kano who is currently in dss custody and also sonda deyemo that's sunday Ibo, who is at large that's who is in Benin republic for them to give a chance to this. Not just them alone, because these people we're talking about here, they have massive support uh, globally. For example, someone like Mazinam Dikanu, not less than close to 30 million people, or more than that, are supporting him strongly, and they want a way of seceding out of Nigeria, because for them, Nigeria is such a, a country that have played down on their importance. Them being a majority group, for them, makes no sense because they are given minority treatment. But then, this South Western governor have sent a message to them. Let's listen to what he has to tell them. But before we do all of that, oh, if you've not subscribed, Kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish. The Kitty State Governor Kayo De Fayemi has asked the leader of indigenous people of Biafra Ipom Namdi Kanu and Yoruba Nation Agitator Sunday Iboho Adeyemo to embrace dialogue. It's been reported that the two secessionist agitators have been calling for the break of the southeast and the southwest from Nigeria over alleged marginalization and other concern. The chairman of the Nigerian for Governors Forum asked Kanu and Sondibo and their followers to embrace dialogue and drop the agitation in order to keep the country united. Fayemi made this known while speaking at the public lecture to mark the 21st anniversary of the Aminu Kanu Center for Democratic Study in Kanu on Saturday. Giving an example of Sudan and Somalia, the governor said the breakup of the country could lead to further divisions and result in a long time crisis. Fayemi submitted that the breakup of the country is not a solution to the plethora of challenges facing the country at this time. According to him, he said, United we stand, divided we fall. Countries like the United States of America and former Soviet Union were united, and that is the basis of their strength and weapon towards its continuous socio-economic development and advancement. All the aggrieved secessionist group should be brought under one umbrella and dialogue towards an amicable settlement of their differences so as to remain united and indivisible. According to Fayemi, Nigerian unity is very crucial to the continuous socio-economic development and advancement of the citizens and the nation. He stated that the country will make progress and enjoy peace when it is united. Adding that the divided country does not stand a chance of development. According to him, he said that a divided country does not stand a chance for development. And um, we just want to look at the statement made by Governor Kayo de Fayemi because uh, for me, it's a, a good one, but then we need to look at the perspective from where he's coming from. As much as you want dialogue for these people, I think that it's it's not an issue that you should address just to the secessionists, just to those who are seeking for self-determination. It's something that you must deliberately call the federal government in also. And um, before you call for dialogue, you must identify why the people are agitating and why they are pushing for, you know, self-determination. Nigeria... Nigeria as a country has uh, one major problem, and that problem is always reacting to issues when it has gotten out of hand. I think that that is the situation that we always find ourselves. When it is just starting and when the people are screaming and shouting, nothing is done about it. But when it climax to a point whereby the entirety of the war are in the know about our you know, our problem, everybody have gotten to know what the situation is like. That's when we start reacting. 
This issue would have been long arrest, arrested far back when these guys were clamoring for, you know, um, clamoring against marginalization. That was when it would have been fixed. And apart from that, even when it came to a point where they needed something to, to prove, that they needed the federal government to prove to them if they must still stay, the federal government fell at that point. And when was that time? When they were appointing security architecture managers, talking about those who will lead the country, you know, people were expecting that at that point that the federal government will come out and tell the people, okay, since you people are agitating for security representative in the administration, the current administration, we are going to give you one. And they would have appointed uh, a Southeasterner. That would have quelled the crisis. Guess what? There's still room to quell this crisis, so if you ask me. Though a lot of people may not agree with me, but I think that one of the rooms that will be created that will help to quell down this push for agitation is if the, especially for South, is if, if the government or the political parties decide that if we unanimously give the South East the presidential position in 2023, I'm so sure that though they are rejecting it and they don't want to talk about it, they say what we need is just Biafra. That will be a pointer towards um, acceptance and uh, a kind of move to heal all the wounds that have been in their heart long before now. You know, it, it will be a plus to the Nigerian nation and it will be a move towards cancelling, you know, that word marginalization for them. You understand? excuse me, if you give them opportunity to operate for the next um, eight years, you know, and uh, they begin to see economic activities and everything, you know, coming back to life in the Southeast and all of that. We'll go an extra mile to kind of calm down their nerves and keep them more focused in developing uh, the country Nigeria. It's just my perspective. Nobody should come and, you know, begin to blast me or anything. This is just my perspective. And the same thing for Southwest. Uh, we should also be looking at developing the Southwest. Southwest has already been um, developed. It's the center of commerce in Nigeria, kind of. You know, officially, Southeast is there working um, strongly from their own side, but center of commerce everybody seems to be diving into especially lagos to do business there so what we need to do is to build their confidence and let them understand that um, they are still in an integral part and then for the northerners uh, the present government let, let's see how we can do those detention there it's it's been hanging there for too long talking about security threat it's been so strong there so if we can move towards um fighting insurgency and addressing the root causes of all of this thing we know that most of this issue of uh, banditry insurgency kidnapping abduction and all of that is traceable to poverty is traceable to abandonment there are some tribes, uh, some kind of people who have been abandoned for too long. Some uh, inability of the government to clean up the ignorance in their hearts, you know, has been the reason. Look at currently the issue of bandit. It seems as if the military cannot handle it. And the reason why they can't handle it is because every day the people are seeing the benefit of banditry. It's another form of employment for most people. Some of those groups right now are recruiting people to work for them. After we got, we get the spoil, we take it to the big boss who will now be paying them salary or something like that. You understand? So now, if the country must get back to where it was or far better than where it was coming from, the, 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 they must look at these sensitive areas and let's put a corrective measure on ground and also a strategy to make it sustainable because the problem here in Nigeria is that most of the time things have been done, but sustainability moves are not there, you know, and that is something we have to look at seriously. But guess what? For Southeast and Southwest, I still believe that there's hope to get back their minds to still be a part of the country. It's just my, call it income and you won't be wrong, but I will allow you to go to our comment section. Please let's stay off speaking wrong words. What's your perspective about reintegrating or building back the confidence 
of Nigeria in the minds of these two regions, Southeast and South.